We've got something sweet for you in today's Better Business Break. Steve Kosin is here from Southern Bank to tell us about our guest. Good morning, Steve. How are you? Good morning, April. <laughs> My guest is Trish Clark, who is the executive director of the Sugar Plum Bakery. All right. So we got to reveal this. If we had smell -a vision you would be <laughs> delighted. Oh, my gosh. It is so, it smells so, 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 so good. Tell us a little bit, Trish, about all of these delightful baked goods yep. here. Well, we make lots of different baked goods. We have over 40 different varieties of cakes and lots of different pastries and donuts and cookies from scratch and everything. But we brought a small sampling today. We've been here for 30 years. This, we're celebrating our 30th year this year. This is our Mozart cake, which is our signature cake. Everybody loves the Mozart. It's three split layers of yellow cake with one layer of raspberry filling and one layer of Bavarian cream. Then we ice it in buttercream and top it with chocolate. Then we have a wide variety of donuts, but I brought these today. This is our disco donut, and we have a coconut donut, a cherry on, I mean, a cherry pie donut, and we call this our zebra donut with the chocolate and vanilla. It smells so, so delightful yeah. and looks so good. Now, why Sugar Plum Bakery, Steve? Sugar Plum Bakery, we approached them about 10 years ago about their banking services, and we found that as an independent bank, a community bank, we could do a lot of uh, good for them, and we've been uh, a partner partnership ever since. Mm -hmm. And tell us about the special things that you do. I mean, obviously, mm -hmm. this is very, very special, but who's in there working in the kitchen? Right. We actually employ and train people with disabilities. So we work with a wide variety of disabilities from autism, autism spectrum to um, intellectual disabilities, developmental disabilities. So our, but our guys really do work at the bakery. They have a real job, and they're actually producing the things that you see. Wow. Um, that when you come in and see, they're making our cupcakes and they're scooping our cookies and they're helping with our donuts. They're doing all aspects of the bakery and they're really the backbone of what we do. Well, that helped me make a decision to get you guys to do my wedding mm -hmm. cake 20 years ago. Now, you weren't there. I wasn't there. You've <laughs> only been there 16, 16 years. years yeah. But tell me how you've seen it transform people's lives that actually yeah. work there at the bakery. It really is amazing because we've been there for 30 years now, so you see the growth of individuals. And we are lucky in the fact that we have a lot of individuals that are still at the bakery. We have one individual that has been there since the beginning of the bakery, since like 1988, 89. And uh, he lived with his parents all of his life. And as everyone ages, unfortunately, his mother got sick and she mm -hmm. passed away. His dad's in his 80s and couldn't take care of him anymore wow. like he needed to be taken care of. And so everybody rallied together. And we actually found him a, a wonderful group home that was literally right down the street from his parents, from oh, his dad's awesome. house. And uh, of course, everyone was really nervous because he's lived with his parents all of his life. And this is a huge transition for anybody to move into a new place. But he's just prospered. I mean, he does. He's just a, you know, a gift. We set up his room for him before he went there. We told him what was going to happen. He took a tour. He really liked it. He loves the Redskins. So we had everything Redskin for oh, him. Cute. And um, he's just become part of the home. And he pulls down the blinds at night and takes out the trash and sits at the dinner table with everyone. And he's really become part of that family and that group home. And he doesn't even want to go home and visit his dad anymore. His dad oh, has wow. to come visit him. <laughs> but that's an <laughs> so amazing story yeah, of independence and, and mm -hmm. giving folks a purpose. Yes. And Steve, as I, you know, you focus on different businesses um, throughout, why uh, Sugar Plum Bakery? And, and talk to me about the commitment to, to the community and how important that is to Southern Bank. Well, to Southern Bank, Community service is one of our pillars, and we work very hard to work closely with our business partners and clients to provide the types of services they need. For example, they have a golf tournament each year. We're very supportive of that. So it's not just Sugar Plum, but the community in general. Trish and I met, as I said, about 10 years ago, and we just started doing business at that point. And hopefully it's uh, been a great relationship of providing good banking services for them. What's your favorite item here? My favorite <laughs> item is the Mozart cake. OK, OK. And what's the favorite item of the audience, like the people that come to Sugar Plum? It is the Mozart it is cake. The, yep. it's, what, what makes it so special? Is it the four layers? Is it the drip chocolate? Is it the flour on top made out of sugar? I think it's kind of the combination of everything with the yellow cake and the raspberry filling and, and the Bavarian cream. It's kind of unexpected. And because uh, it's light, but then you've got the richness of the chocolate. So I think it kind of it goes with everybody. If you love chocolate, you like cake. Okay, it's, it's a good choice. Wonderful. <laughs> and Steve, who are you bringing next time? Um, I'm not sure who the next client will be at this. Okay, point. it's going to be a surprise. Yes. Well, I can't wait to see you again. Good Thank to see you, you so much. Thank nice you. to see Thank you. you. It's good to see